the third option in the derivation of the uh, full momentum equations for um, a fluid is to use the uh, traditional chemical engineering interpretation or the diffusion of momentum um, uh, interpretation using so derivation of full momentum equations using diffusion interpretation, interpretation of tau. And in this derivation we follow the same procedure it's just we do a different interpretation for tau and in this case uh, we're going to take the same control volume okay and so um, although we have a, a convective flux over here that's u rho u x times the area and over here we have a, an outgoing advective flux u rho u at x plus delta x the area and coming in from the left um, we have uh, sorry so if we take x y and z so coming in from over there we have a, a w rho u at z and w rho u at z plus delta z and in the y direction we have a v rho u at y coming out v rho u at y plus delta y in a similar fashion we have a diffusive flux of momentum and we're going to call this um, tau x x at x and what's leaving is tau x x at x plus delta x so this would be the diffusion of x momentum in um, in the uh, in the x direction or in an x phase okay and for the diffusion of x momentum in, in on a y phase in the y direction so again momentum there's the x momentum component okay so think of that as one quantity but that is being diffused in x y and z and so we follow the nomenclature tau slot slot over here the first slot is um, direction of diffusion and the second slot is component of momentum and so tau xx tau xx diffusion of x momentum in the x direction and then in the y direction we have a tau y x at y and tau y x at y plus delta y and in the z direction we have a tau z x at z and tau z x at z plus delta z now notice those look like they're all uh, uh, normal don't think of this as a force anymore um, it's just a diffusive flux that is coming in of course multiplied by uh, by the area so then the uh, the whole thing gets added up in the rate in minus the rate out and the forces the only forces left are the pressure and the gravity okay the the only difference here in this case is that the the stress tensor or the diffusion momentum diffusion tensor is going to have a negative sign in front of it and that's a key traditional difference between the equations derived from a mechanics approach versus a chemical engineering approach and so in this case what we will have is d rho u by dt um, is equal minus u d 
by dx of u rho u minus d by dy of v rho u minus d by dz of w rho u see the previous lectures but for the um, for the stress tensor we're going to have in minus out and that gives us a negative sign in front of the derivative so we get a minus d tau xx by dx minus d tau yx by dy minus d tau zx by dz minus dp by dx plus rho gx now this is a key difference over here in this derivation versus the other um, um, other derivations um, to consolidate the two the form of tau um, the tau interpretation as a diffusion tensor will have a negative sign so we will have a negative sign inside tau um, and in the other um, approaches we will not have a negative sign because in this case you know if you think of um, the diffusive flux for temperature um, the heat flux in temperature we have minus k grad t right and so that heat flows from high to low right so we get my from high temperature to low temperature so you get this negative slope the same way here in diffusion momentum is going to diffuse from high values to low values we're going to show that tau will be proportional um, to some minus mu grad u okay some or some combination of u's and so um, you see how this analogy is made and this is a favorable analogy in chemical engineering however um, you know the problem is that the form of the of this tensor is not straightforwardly related to um, uh, to Fourier diffusion or the the form of the standard um, uh, diffusion uh, uh, diffusive flux 